Hi. I'm crazy here to, today. Um, all right, let's, uh, what am I, let me share my screen. So today I'm going to uh, do multiplication of rational expressions. So I have an example here, which shows a product of two rational expressions. See, um, this indicates a product multiplication. And so what do I do? Or what do I need to do when I'm multiplying? Well, I told you guys that in one of my other videos that rational expressions function as fractions. Um, so I want to be able to, you know, multiply fractions and then that'll help me with multiplying um, rational expressions. So how do I multiply fractions? What do you do? Well, let's, you know, for example, something from back in the day, whatever, three sevens times 35, 27, whatever. How do I multiply fractions? Anything on top that has something in common with the bottom is allowed to go because you're multiplying. Some people multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom first and then simplify. But what is gonna happen when you do that is you're gonna end up with very large numbers or when you're dealing with um, polynomials and rational expressions, you're gonna deal with really ugly scenarios. So I say simplify first. So everything has to be factored. So, I mean, when it comes to numbers, that's a little bit different than polynomials, but you know, three and seven obviously can't be rewritten, they're prime numbers, but 35 can be represented as seven times five and 27 can be represented as nine times three. And I chose those specific factors because of the fact that I'm looking for something in common. Three, right, goes into three ones and three goes into 27 nine times. So the threes will cancel. And then seven on the bottom here and seven on top will cancel. You're only allowed to cancel things that are in common on the top and on the bottom. I don't care if they're in common on the top here and on the top there. It has to be somewhere across the top and somewhere across the bottom. We do not cancel from here and here. We're gonna cancel from you know top and bottom. So if there was, um, you know, let's say a five here, I wouldn't cancel the five here with this five, if that makes sense. It has to be something on top, anywhere on top, and it has to be something on the bottom, anywhere on the bottom to, um, to be canceled and simplified. So once I do that, I factor everything, I simplify, cancel anything that is in common on the top and on the bottom. Now I'm gonna go ahead and multiply across the top with whatever's left. One times five, which is five over, technically a one times nine, which is nine, and this is my final product. So um, you factor everything, and then anything in common on the top and on the bottom will simplify or cancel, and then multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. So I'm gonna use that same technique with this. Um, obviously I have one, two, three, four polynomials. They're all trinomials. All of them look like they could potentially be factored. So let's go ahead and rewrite them. Sometimes what I do for my students is I'll number them. So let's call this, you know, polynomial one and focus on polynomial one by itself initially. Um, factored it out. I get an X and an X. Give me factors of 30 that add to give me 10. How about a five and a six? A plus and a plus, right? I could always verify, multiply to make sure that that's the same thing. Um, polynomial number one is done. I'm on color coordinating over. Let's do polynomial number two. Let's make this polynomial number two. So polynomial number two is in purple and I'm gonna factor that here. Again, a nice easy factored case, an X and an X, and then two numbers that multiply to give me six, that adds to give me five, a two and a three, a plus and a plus. These are nice cases. Um, times, right? Multiplication, right? Bring that down times this rational expression represented in factored form. So let's do polynomial three, which is this one factored. So I get an X and an X, these are nice factored, easy factoring pieces. Numbers that multiply to give me 12, that adds to give me seven, a four and a three, a plus and a plus, 
would be nice. And then I'll be pink, okay, for my polynomial number four, factored. Looks like an X and an X. Uh, factors of 16 that add to give me eight, a four, and a four. So this was a perfect square trigonometry because this is X plus four squared. Boom. Now, everybody's factored. What do I have in common? Anything on the top that has something in common with the bottom anywhere. So anywhere across the top. It looks like I have an X plus three here and an X plus three here. So those can cancel because everything is being multiplied, right? I'm only allowed to cancel on the top and on the bottom when there is multiplication. Um, hmm. X plus four here and X plus four here. Yes, I can go across, I can go above, and as, as long as it's anywhere across the top and anywhere across the bottom. But I think that's it. I don't see anything else that cancels. There's no X plus two on the top anywhere. And there's no other X plus four anywhere on the top. So that looks like I'm officially done canceling anything that is in common. And now I'm gonna go straight across the top, multiplying everything. X plus five times X plus six times, I think you one when there's nothing left. X plus five times X plus six over across the bottom, X plus two times one times one times X plus four, X plus two times X plus four. I see nothing else in common on the top and on the bottom here. This looks and I can't write perfectly on this, but anyway, um, nothing else to cancel. So here is my final, again, here's my hard because yesterday was long time, right now. And that is my final product, which could also be multiplied out again if you want to represent it as a polynomial without being factored, but this, well, this is my final case. So factor everything, cancel anything on the top and on the bottom that have something in common and then multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom and you have multiplied your rational expressions. Now, you're gonna to need to know how to multiply to be able to divide, which is what I wanna do in my next video. So make sure you have this down so that you are ready for the next video, okay?